Right, this is Chad and Dalton from Coyote Classics. It's a beautiful Wednesday afternoon here today, and we're gonna be checking out and test driving uh, this Barracuda convertible. Beautiful color combination on this car. Runs like a top, ready for summer. It is. Out of the early Barracuda, 67 is my favorite year. And you can't get one in any better color than this light turquoise. And as far as I can tell, everything's stock on it. Original color combination, turquoise, white top, white interior. And uh, again, it's just a striking car. Uh, Krager SS is on it. 14-inch uh, Krager SS is BFG raised white letter tires. Beautiful straight body. As we go underneath the hood, um, you can tell that the this still appears to be the original paint on the inner fenders, radiator support. And that still all looks really nice. I mean, this is a really nice quality car, powered by an excellent running 273 V8 four barrel carburetor. Nice aluminum radiator keeping this thing cool. Bottom of the hood, original paint as well. That still looks good. Really nice car and it runs super clean. It's got dual exhaust on it. Uh, I think it, I'm not a huge fan of the exhaust tips, but it sounds good. Cool. And as we look up and down the sides, this turquoise paint just looks gorgeous. Very, very straight body, all buffed to a beautiful shine. The trim and bright work and chrome is really good shape as well. And how about the gaps? I mean, all the gaps on this car are, are excellent. You know, everything just really fits nice. It sure does. And this pearl white interior top boot uh, matches, look at that. So it's, it's really that kind of that pearl white, isn't it? Even the mm -hmm. top boot matches beautifully to the interior. That's been completely restored and it is drop dead gorgeous. I really like this car. Yeah, do too. And you don't see them all that often. Yeah, if you go on uh, like classiccars.com or something like that, you just don't see 60, 64 to 67. One of the only imperfections I've seen in the car, and the biggest one is, is that chip there. I haven't really seen much else going around it. Hey, you want to slam it? There you go. The other thing I like is that like that Formula S hood is just fantastic on it. As you mentioned, those gaps, I mean, really nice even gap from side to side here. Back of the hood fits great on both sides, top of the fender. Quality car, you can just tell. Factory undercoat car, so it is undercoated. You can go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Very solid floors, frame, and trunk. The chrome um, around the grill is all original, so there's some little nicks and stuff in that factory chrome. But, uh, you know, for being an original chrome, it doesn't look bad at all. As we go up here, it's original windshield. Um, looks to be in good shape as well. Top of the dash pad is excellent. So is the, uh, the defrost. Um, little plastic pieces up here, they're original. They're in excellent shape. A lot of times they deteriorate if it's been sitting out in the sun a lot. With any of these old cars, I always like to go down low and uh, you know, really see what's going on down here, see how the body and stuff is. And I don't see anything for imperfections down low on the door, lower quarter, or lower fender. Door handles are all original. Felts, they look like they've been replaced during restoration. They're the high quality felts. White top, by the way, and the top is all new as well. It looks really good. As we go around back, um, the trunk lid fits great on the top, and I'm not sure how these actually were supposed to fit, but to me that chrome doesn't line up, and it's the same way on both sides, just on the bottom there. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but other than that, the back chrome is in great shape. Back balance is in nice shape. We get the reverse lights back there. Inside the trunk, it's all carpeted. It's got a spare and everything as well. Go ahead. Open up the door. Rust-free original doors, never had any putty in them. It's probably exactly why there's no bubbles or blisters on the outside either. It's just always been a really solid rust-free car. Door panel's original and in good shape. You have some scratches here just where your arm stuff has been resting right there. The dash is all original. 
And really for original, it's in great shape. I've seen a couple other ones on there and that, that looked just terrible on the dashes. Uh, this one was in real good shape here. Got the original AM radio still. 86,420 miles on the odometer. Um, I'm guessing uh, with you know, the solidness of the car, very well could be original. Uh, appears to be the original paint still here in the door jams. Again, that inside of that uh, bottom of that door is rust free, really nice and clean. And I forgot under the hood to, uh, to make a note, this has got its factory fender tag and it's also got its certification card in it. I mean, that's almost unheard of to have a, a factory certic card still in there after all these years. I just love that color. A lot of metallic in it and the, the paint's beautiful. You could take this car to, to any you know, local car show and, and get a lot, of, a lot of looks and a lot of compliments. The biggest thing on, a, on pictures and videos is sometimes it's really hard to tell, you know, how straight something is. Mm -hmm. This is a quality car. It's an older restoration, maybe three to 10 years. I, it's hard to say, somewhere in there. But it was done right on a solid car and uh, just fantastic looking. Yeah, there's no no choppiness or waves to it at all. I don't see any chips or anything like that except for what we pointed out out front, the gaps like you said earlier, door gaps, the way the bottom of the doors fit into that quarter grate. You know, just another quality car here for at Coyote Classic. Something that um, doesn't break the bank, but it's something you can jump in and drive to a car show, car cruise, and be proud of it. That's exactly what this thing is. You can tell when they did the restoration, they took it all apart. Um, it wasn't just an outside paint job. I mean, your door jam is all excellent. No rust or chips or nothing like that as well. The inside corner of the door on the driver's side is nice as well. Seats have no wear on them as far as the seat backs do a little bit. Actually, that's just a little bit of tape there. Probably taped that chrome, original chrome off when they redid the uh, seat backs. The seats covers are perfect and they did a nice job putting them on. I mean, there's no wrinkles on the front seats. Um, gas gauge works. Go ahead and turn the key on. Our gas gauge is going up. Look at that. The performance indicator even works. That's pretty cool, huh? Not a tack, but a performance vacuum uh, indicator. Temperature gauges works down here. Run about 160. There you go, clicks, but now it's gonna work. It's nice, heater fan works like it should. Everything works, doll. Alternator awesome. gauge is working when we're turning the wiper, wipers on. Um, oil pressure gauge works. Original console car too, which is pretty dang nice. The inside of the console is in good shape. I mean, it's original, it's just but it's not beat up, you know. Absolutely. Power top over here on the uh, left-hand side too, and it's the original switch, doll. Justin said they are drum brakes. I know the first time Justin took it out, um, brakes pulled just a little bit. It did here too, uh, but after you get on it, this car sat for probably two or three years in the guy's private collection. He had about eight cars. This is one of four cars that we bought out of this collection. So it's had a little sitting time. So anytime that happens, you got to go ahead and uh, get on those brakes and get that surface rest on. Speedometer too, just with the single numbers. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's neat. Goes on the road really nice. Suspension feels good. It's not 
not a rattle trap. It's a really tight car. It's a great car. The only thing we're gonna, I'm probably gonna go ahead and uh, rebuild that carburetor just from sitting. Yeah. You know, the accelerator pump, just a few more things. But again, we're trying to get a bunch of videos done today and we'll run it through the shop just for the fine tuning. Car goes down the road awesome. 60 mile an hour, perfectly straight, nice tight front end. I really like this car. Check it out on the website, coyoteplastics.com. Thank you for watching.